Carson Delaney. Eliza Doggery. Jacob Doggett. John Duran. And we're group nine. Representing Kendrick Lamar. And our group name is Dan. I'm Dan Desher from group nine, uh, group name Dan. And today we're gonna be talking about Kendrick Lamar. His full name is Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. He also went by two different nicknames or rap names uh, while he was coming up as K-Dot and Kind Fu Kenny. He uh, also grew up in Compton, California. He grew up on hard times. It was um, in a very difficult neighborhood with ties to the Bloods and such. He uh, has been very successful and he has five studio albums to date. He has Section Point Eight Zero, Good Kid, Man City, To Pimp a Butterfly, Untitled, Unmastered, and Damn. Uh, all of which have been very successful and have had different uh, viewpoints within them. He is a very popular cultural icon and one of the most popular in today's society. Kendrick Lamar has not gotten here by himself. He's had a lot of influencers who has helped him be so successful. One of these is Dr. Dre. He is one of his biggest mentors. Dr. Dre is not just known as a music producer. He is also a very successful businessman. He has been able to be um, in the billions and is very successful. Kendrick Lamar is also very spiritual and that speaks to his fans and is a huge influence on who he is as an artist and why his fans relate to him so well. Carson's here, he's gonna talk about the transformational leadership that Dr. Dre brought Kendrick. Yeah, thank you. Like Dan said, uh, Dr. Dre was a transformational leader to Kendrick. Dr. Dre worked with Kendrick one-on-one -on -one using idealized individual consideration. He invested in his needs and interests, allowing him to help Kendrick reach his career goals. When Kendrick was a young, when Kendrick was young, he watched Tupac and Dr. Dre film California Love, the music video, allowing Kendrick to grow up in a creative environment. That was Dre's way of using intellectual stimulation by creating an environment for Kendrick Lamar to be creative and to reach his goals in not only his career, but in his life. Idealized influence from Dr. Dre was another motivating factor for Kendrick Lamar. By growing up under Dr. Dre's wing, Kendrick got to see Dr. Dre lead not only from the music industry, but business outside as well. Dr. Dre created shared values with Kendrick, as well as a common vision between the two that allowed Kendrick to reach his career goals and continue to stay relevant throughout. He watched Dre live his life and go after his goals which then motivated Kendrick to do the same. Kendrick Lamar has a huge fan base for a young singer of this era. He targets a people from a range of eight, 18 years of age to 50. Um, split up by gender, that's about 15% male, 45% female. And the way he draws them in is Kendrick stays current by relating his music to the present day relevant topics, which draws in people from the fan base. I'm John Duran, and I'll be covering management. Kendrick Lamar's record label is TDE, or Top Dog Entertainment, whose founder is Anthony Tippett. And Dave Free is the president of TDE, and he's a resident leader for Kendrick. And Free is responsible for almost everything that Kendrick does and really helps lead him. Uh, Free is very close with Kendrick, as they met in high school at age 16, so they're very close. And Kendrick Lamar said of Free that it's almost like working with a brother that just happened to love what I do too, so you can tell they're very close. And TDE is more of a flat organization. Uh, they're very nimble and get decisions made at lower levels. And TDE doesn't have many members. Their members are Isaiah Rashad, SZA, Lance Skywalker, Sir, Black Hippie, Kendrick Lamar, J-Rock, Schoolboy Q, and Ab Soul. And they, since they have these fewer members, they can get things done at lower levels. Uh, TDE has expert power as well, and they can really help influence and lead Kendrick since they have an expertise in the music industry, and they have all these members, and they can really just help lead them in the right direction. How Kendrick Lamar stays relevant. Kendrick Lamar displays all the qualities of a leader and they really help him stay relevant. Uh, and these qualities of a leader are talent, creativity, he addresses issues, he works hard, he's dedicated, he has emotional intelligence, he has influence, and he has self-awareness. And all these things really make him the powerhouse of an artist that he is today. And authenticity also helps keep Kendrick around. Kendrick Lamar raps about things he's very passionate about and many people can relate to him. Kendrick also has social and emotional intelligence. For example, on his album To Pimp a Butterfly, he rapped about the injustices that many African Americans face in today's society. And as well, on the album Damn, he chose to appeal more to the masses and make many hits and radio 
records. And ethics and integrity are huge for Kendrick as well. Kendrick never gets involved in any drug-related issues or violence-related issues, and he wants to be his own person and tell his own story, and his fans really just appreciate this. Hi, I'm Julie, and I'll be covering marketing. So Kendrick Lamar uh, shows excellent strategy in his marketing. He's not only able to market um, his music, but as well as himself as a brand. Um, Kendrick was able to successfully assemble a fantastic team of artists in producing his records. So it includes a wide array of renowned artists that show the, di the diversity in his music. Um, also in his marketing team, um, they're able to have the same sense of culture, which is super important in figuring out how they want to market themselves as well as their music. Um, he's able to sh uh, draw attention among the masses. So, uh, for example, with his album To Pimp a Butterfly, he made the decision to release his album a week early, which, shock which shocked and captivated his listeners. This hype resulted in his album being the most first day listens on, in Spotify's history. He's able to brand himself authentically, which is something that can't be faked. He really shows his listeners who he is as a person. Um, in Kendrick Lamar's music, he tells unheard stories his way. So he's really showing who he is exactly. Kendrick Lamar um, excels in creating his songs, um, not only by writing his music, but also creating his own lyrics. Since rap primarily focuses on lyricism, many rappers end up falling short in the actual production of the music of their songs. Lamar is not only able to create compelling lyrics to tell his stories well, but he's also able to provide music that truly supports and makes the song its, like, itself. Um, this excellence in both sectors of songwriting enables Kendrick Lamar to be one of the most successful rappers. This quality of music cannot be faked, and Kendrick's talent is shown in each piece he produces. My name is Elijah Dockery, and I will be, I will be speaking on the success of Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar's success gives you the implication that he will have longevity as an artist. In 2011, Kendrick was included in Double XL Magazine Top 10 Freshman Class and has been one of the best music artists ever since. He has been nominated for 187 Music Awards and has won a total of 84 of those awards. Kendrick Lamar has a total of 12 Grammys, BET, MTV, and other entertainment networks have awarded Kendrick for his music. Kendrick Lamar has two albums that have been certified platinum by RIAA, Good Kid, Madden City, and To Pimp a Butterfly. His most recent album, Damn, has been certified double platinum by RIAA. Kendrick Lamar's success has no signs of slowing. Kendrick Lamar has a personality just as any other human being. Kendrick Lamar is witty, and he often uses this when he is in the limelight. He's creative and artistic as an artist, and this shows in much of his work. He's a great storyteller and a good picture fan. He's very optimistic and is uplifting towards his people and to his listeners. He's very vulnerable also. When hurt, he withdraws to himself. My name is Jacob Doggett and I will be talking about Kendrick Lamar, the conscious capitalist. Like many entertainers and celebrities in today's world, Kendrick is very uh, interested in using his influence and money that he has earned from his entertainment career to invest in projects outside of the music industry. However, according to a Forbes magazine interview, Kendrick Lamar will only invest in projects that have a meaning or value to him greater than just a price tag, which throughout mainstream uh, pop culture has earned him the nickname of the conscious capitalist. For example, one of his very first projects was a collaboration with Reebok to make a sneaker, one red and one blue, to that could symbolize uh, that could symbolize peace and harmony between the Blood and Crip gangs which are very prevalent in his hometown of Compton, California. This shows that Kendrick is a servant leader in his community as he is focused on trying to empower and improve the city that he comes from and putting his own interests aside to pave the way for future generations who come from similar circumstances as himself. Other than investing in projects, Kendrick Lamar has done an exceptional job of branding himself as a person and as an entity. He uses influence to be a servant leader in his community and in his world, constantly pursuing projects that he, has, that he is passionate about and that pr promote good change in his, in his community. He has become a unifying symbol in a largely tense and racially conflicted country where he has a fan base that is 
almost equally white and black. In addition, uh, he has garnered the attention of big name companies who want to do business with the Young Music Mogul. For example, uh, this past summer, he actually moved from a deal with Reebok into a deal with Nike, which was no doubt lucrative. As Kendrick continues to grow and earn more experience in the business world and refine his artistry, it will be very interesting to see his empire grow towards the likes of Jay-Z and Dr. Dre. Conclusion. The latest reports that are from 2017 say that Kendrick Lamar is worth $30 million, and that will just keep on growing from here on out. In 2018, Kendrick Lamar and TDE are looking to make a publishing deal between 20 and 40 million um, that would give the rights to Kendrick's whole songwriting catalog to the buyer. His album Damn also gave him his first number one hit on Billboard Hot 100. Kendrick, in our opinion, will remain one of the most popular and prevalent artists in mainstream hip hop for a very long time, and his business ventures will go as far as he wants them. Word Group 9, Dan, this has been our business case on Kendrick Lamar. Thank you for listening.